Hello everyone, I'm Ichuka and you welcome back to Orange Studios. It's been a while since I last posted on this channel, but I'm going to make it up to you guys and give you something around love. We are going to do a Vows Day flyer and I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be quick and simple. Let's follow along. So the first thing we are going to do is to create our document. Shortcut is Ctrl plus N. I have it set here 4 inches by 4 inches RGB. Um, 300 uh, pixels per inch, everything is okay. Let's name it Vows Day. Now, first things first, I'm going to create a shape, give it a color I like. Let's say this red. You can check out the RGB settings here. Now, the next thing I'm going to drop in some few elements I have saved up here. You first of all, drag this in there. Let's stretch it so that it fills the whole page. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to add an empty layer and then apply some gradient to it. I want to darken this side of the page. So to do that, I'm going to hit the shortcut key J to bring out the gradient. And as you can observe from here, it's set to basic, uh, which is from black to transparent. And um, that will be okay. Let me just drag from one end and leave it at another end. Well, it's too dark, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reduce the opacity. And this should be okay. As I go and if I find anything I don't like, I might reduce it further. But as it stands now, I like this. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in my image, the picture of the couple. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, let me put this above this and I want to put this in a group and call it um, background. Okay. Um, now, let me put this here and then bring in some other element. So I'm going to apply some effect on these balloons, multiply or duplicate them and scatter them around the background, just give it an effect and that will be good. So for this, I'm going to apply um, a filter, Gaijin Blair. And then, uh, I want it to be too strong. What I'm going to do is duplicate it, Control J to duplicate it. First of all, let me take this effect out so that I have the original. Okay, so now I have the original and the blend one out. So I'm going to take this behind, put this somewhere here, Control T. Yes, and then reduce the size. apply a layer mask to this B to bring us the brush to make sure your foreground color is set to black increase the size of the brush using the OP key markets you can reduce the opacity for the start and then gently erase the side off and one more thing when the foreground color is set to white it restores what you've cleaned if it's black, it erases, so you just click on this button or hit X to toggle the colors. So this would erase and that would restore, white would restore, so basically that's how you go about it. Okay, so now let's put some small effect on this balloon. Uh, first of all, we are going to add a drop down shadow so that we take it off the image. Uh, let's reduce the opacity and then decrease the size just a little bit. Now, the next thing we are going to add, still on this layer panel, we are going to add an outer glow. Now, with the outer glow, I mean, now with the outer glow, we already have this set to this. You can alter it as you want 
Now, if you pay attention to the balloon as I drop in the outer glow, you would notice that there is some change here. So, pay attention. So, we just want to kind of give the balloon some glow, and that's the reason for the outer glow. You can do without it, but just want to give it some some lovely effects. You can increase the size, reduce the opacity, and adjust the color here. So this is okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to add the text to the design. First of all, uh, let's put all of this in a group. Let's put this guy in a group. Okay, let's let's wait. Let's just add the text first, then we'll put them in a group. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to draw use the shape to rectangular shape to and then draw this shape out with the pen tool just going to add an anchor point here press or hit the A key to activate the direct select tool and drag you can now press and hold on the control key and then just adjust the handles sorry I mean the alt key to adjust the handles good so now let's bring this here let's just bring it above white works because it's vows day but of course the, we, can, we can try something crazier we can try something here just to bring it some more color We can also apply some effects on this, but before then, let, let me just apply some drop down shadow again to let it just lift itself above the balloon. Um, yes, let's just adjust the size of the shadow. This is okay. And then let me zoom in. So the ribbon is supposed to go around the, the hat. So I'm going to add, use the pen to just select any other thing except the shape to else you would have it uh, your effect affecting the current shape. So just select any other thing except the shape to and then click, click, click in no particular order except the start. Now I would explain. So now let's convert that to shape. You realize my pen to, my pen to is set to path and not shape. I always keep that path. Now when you are done, you can just hit on the shape to or the shape option and you have it here. So let's select this color and then darken it just a little bit. So that of course it's below so it has to get this shadow effect. Uh, and then take it behind the balloon. We can try something here, just hit the um, direct select tool okay. and then select this try and adjust this just a little you know just a little okay so it means we have to adjust this one to select an anchor point and drag so we can hide it from view yeah, this is okay so the ribbon looks a little a little dramatic. Okay, so with this done, we have this simple effect. We want to write our text here, love in the air. So I'm going to use this font called Autumn. So this particular font, font Autumn November. The size. Let's apply drop down shadow. Reduce the size and the opacity. I think 22 is okay. 25 should you should do. Okay, so control J 
to duplicate and then bring it down here so we'll have in the air so Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to add some info. So I selected a rounded rectangle. I'm going to draw a shape here. And then with this shape, I'm going to select a darker color of red. Might not even need it after all. Um, select anything else but the shape so that you can uh, you can use the pen tool to draw another shape. That's how to do something like this. Hit the shape to bring out the shape. Select change color to this, and then you can try and center them, align them to center. Select the move to so that you can have this function showing up. A to try and align the polygon. Just a little. Okay, I'm okay with this. Now I'm going to group the two, right click and then create a smart or convert to a smart object. Now uh, I'm doing that because I want to apply the stroke effect on it and do some other effects you, you see soon. So double click here, the effect will pop out. You want to come over here, reduce, fill, opacity. Alright. Then um, apply stroke. This color is cool. It matches this. And yes, yeah, center is okay. Side of stroke is okay. So this is fine. So I added a shape so that there would there would be one image I can reduce the opacity and have all that. So for instance, let me do a quick one here so this and another shape here just for practice now notice what happens when i select the two and reduce the opacity so you will notice that the center here is not the same this is different so if i had merged the two I had merged the two, converted to smart object, all right, and then reduce the opacity. It acts as one image, so the opacity goes away, and you don't have that double lay over there. So that's the reason why I converted to a smart object. Now let's move on to the design. The next thing I'm going to add is some text in there. You know, this party comes some goodies for ladies, especially. going to apply some effect on this five then I will duplicate it for the other one so double click uh, gradient overlay and uh, the gradient overlay notices this so let me just increase the opacity a little add a drop down shadow uh, the um, distance is a little too much maybe size is too small this should do now notice what happens when i duplicate it ctrl j and bring up this so i'm going to take this down here just don't know why i did that but it's okay and then bring out the move to thing for shortcut move this here you see the effect keeps it here and then probably change the 5 to a 0 Yeah. so this is what I was looking for that's what I was trying to achieve so this is ok select both and then bring them here want to add another shape uh, the circle is ok so 50% discount is what we are trying to write out that's what we are trying to Again, let's put all of this in a group. So, 
group and they call it discount. So when you put staff in groups, it kind of keep your work tidy. One more thing we can do just before we move on. Once again, let's try and apply some glue on this shape. So outer glue, perfect. Perfect, just perfect. Now let's observe the difference. So the difference, notice that. Well, now let's try something else and apply an inner glow. It's too much, don't worry. So, we're going to reduce it to something like this. Okay, and reduce the size. So, now it looks lighter than plastic. Let's increase the plastic. Here's the size, is it? So, it looks like we just lit it up. Let's turn it off. Turn it on. In and off. In and on. So you see, kind of gives it this lighted up effect. Um, want to do something similar here. Want to do something similar here. So let's duplicate this. Control J. We might not need everything in there, but let's just duplicate it for now. Flip horizontal once again. Alright, so with this done, we're just going to drop in our logo. And now, let's see if we can add some final information to this. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Love in the air, so balloons all over floating the uh, the rates, your discounts, I mean your 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 bait if you if you like to call it then small other a little other info where it's happening and the date of course the time is given here so it's free for ladies after 10 pm so you know it's a night event and after 10 pm you are welcome like you can come before 10 pm and all that and then the logo here lying on another balloon you can drop out if you want but this is okay it's okay so there we go i hope you loved it i hope it was helpful the resource files we made available and for those who stayed till the end guess what the psd file is in the description go download it tweak it a little and give it out to someone a free gift from me happy vows day love you all thanks for making my channel a wonderful one okay so there we go this brings us to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was very helpful if it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.